Is that a blink saw me? I hope we just kill him. Are they rising? I don't know. He's just up super early today. I don't know why. Give hog. No. Those are boombas. I think I should have died. Go left so that you can get uh, that camp invade if they go right. Enjoy this fine day. Cancel that. Enemies incoming. Now that's fire bending. I do like a really weird rotation. Actually, they just keep killing enemies. I was gonna do like a really weird rotation on that blue, but uh, they're good. I'd like to see a whole ass avatar team. I don't even know if you can do that. There's two of them are junglers. Is there any. Well, there's three of them that are junglers actually. Is there any solo lanes? I guess there's no ADCs either. You have like what Bacchus, Pele, Susano, Merlin, Ratatosker. I think I might be missing one. I should have backed on earlier so I could just do the red. Your middle tower is under attack. Your left tower is under attack. Thought it was a nice stance for a second. Arrive. 
mit Sam. Backstacks are stacking, scaling. Chrono's been in, probably. Oh, not that good. The party's this way. Is Kyra on the game for follow? I appreciate it. What's up, Exalt? Pretty sure we're close. Close what? You mean like an MR or what? I rotated solo, it's so strange. The whole last time I him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you just need like a ADC to be honest. Because you could put like Baylor or something. So, but, I mean, there are five dots technically. But uh, I wouldn't say it's like a good team composition. You can have this one. Slingshot. Is there a dude with a slingshot and avatar? The only dude that I can think of that has like a ranged attack, other than like that's like a normal weapon, is that dude that's like uh, the guy that has the hook sword. So It's not like I can think of. <laughs> Your teammate struck out looking. Dude, what is this Discordia doing? Unfortunate. Enemies incoming right. middle tower is under attack. right Uh, well, I think it's kind of a pretty simple, like, equation, right? You build Divine no matter what, right? You build Mirrodin no matter what. Pretty much every item you build outside of Warlocks and Nesso, you're building it on every build, pretty much. Like, Obshard, Mirrodin, you know, Soriver, your starter, Divine. You're building all those no matter what on your default build. The only thing that changes with a Flatpan build is you go Flatpan over Warlocks. But, it's like, statistically speaking, Warlocks is just better than Desolation. They're the same price, so it's literally just like you get less power, and then it, you compare like flat pen versus percent pen, and like a weirder power curve because you'd you'd have to like delay your mirrodin. The Warlock's mirrodin is way stronger than like uh, divine mirrodin or uh, divine deso, and you can just go divine third if you need it. It's like I don't know. It, it's pretty simple in my opinion. It is like kind of fun to mess around with deso though. The only like benefit you get out of Deso is like cooldown because you go Mirrodin anyways, you already have like like it's easy to cap cooldown with Mirrodin. It just makes it really weird. I'm like a hundred percent sure Warlocks is just better 
every time, unless you just can't build Mirrodin, in which case you maybe go like a double platform. But like even then, I still think just like Warlocks and then getting Soul Gem last is just better. Mid game, uh, I wouldn't even say that's true to be honest with you. Like, this is mid game, or like we're getting to the mid game because I wouldn't have divide and, and that deso right now, no matter what. So, I'd be at tier two flat pen with deso or tier two flat pen with uh, divine, and I would have less power. So I like theoretically have more power. But like if you look at like percentage, like prot wise, I have 10%, so I'm getting, you know, I have 50 magic prots right now as a mage. Granted, if I'm a, like a tank character, I have more. But like I'm getting effectively five flat pen for my warlocks right now. So I'm getting an extra 10 flat pen on SO. But like I also have like 40 less power. So like theoretically, it's just less. Is fine anyways. I mean, once you get Warlock's Mirrodin, you're just stronger. As soon as you finish Mirrodin, I'm pretty sure you're just stronger. Hey, if you go the other build, you delay Mirrodin like so long. I'm pretty sure rights are up actually. Both well, pretty good. No, no, Flatpen is just ass. Doesn't you want to play? No, you, do, you don't get any benefit out of going Flatpen. You, mid laners, you don't do anything in mid right now. You don't do anything in mid until mid game, no matter what. You literally do not fight in early game. So the the, the slight advantage that you would have over a warlocks from that ten flat pen before they stack warlocks, you have to do you have to fight before they stack the warlocks. If I finish stacking my warlocks, I'm stronger than you. At that point, like right now, I would be stronger because I have warlocks fully stacked and I have two items. Like at two items, I'm outscaling you. And then I outscale you for the, the re entire rest of the game because percent pen just gets better throughout the game. Like this guy has like his one defense item like magically. I'm getting 12 flat pen right now for my warlock staff because he's 120 prots. I'm effectively getting 12 flat pen. So you have an extra 3 flat pen over my warlocks. But I have an extra 50 power over you. And a lot more survivability. Go Warlock's Mirrodin, double flat pen. You cannot. But you don't need to go double flat pen. You go Warlock's Mirrodin and then you get Divine. So you get Divine Reaver Upshard with uh, with uh, Deso. And you have 40% pen with 15 flat. Plus a Soul Reaver. What's up, Ghost Ninja? Happy Friday. You want to queue? Yeah, we can queue if you want. But like statistically speaking, it's just not good. And you're not really, like I said, you're not fighting in mid early game. So the only advantage, the only time you would actually get the advantage is like before I finish the Warlocks. But you, you just don't fight like that in mid. It's just not how the, the meta is played. So it literally does nothing. You get three flat pen on Divine, I guess. That's the buff. That's the, the cool mid lane buff we've been waiting for. You can fight him if you go Warlock's Divine and Mirrodin. Yeah, you can. You can go Divine second. You can go Divine or Mirrodin second. It depends on the comp. Like, in a comp like this, like, they just have a Soul Leader and a Thanatos. And then, like, ADC, like, steal if they build it. I don't need Divine immediately, so I can get away with going it third. But if I'm against, like, a Hell or something, or a Sylvanas, a Yemoja, maybe, I would just go Divine second and then get Mirrodin third. It also depends on the god that I'm playing. Uh, like, Merlin. I use Mirrodin really well, because like you switch chances and you just kill people. But uh, if I was playing a god that's like a little better with, or like does it rely on the cooldown as much as a god like uh, Merlin does, you can get like it's a lot easier to find as well. That black pen help. Uh, effectively, but I mean Mirrodin is like very similar in terms of power scaling. Come, the party's this way. Roban man, thank you for the follow. Proflux official, thank you for the follow. But like, uh, would you, if you ult for an objective, it, it depends on the character you're playing. Like Merlin, I'm gonna effectively get like very similar damage output 
from the Mirrodin passive that I would from the Flat Pen. Does that make sense? Because Mirrodin increases your base numbers, so like, even though I would have less damage, I'm getting 25% more like... I have less pen, but I'm getting 25% more damage overall. That includes the base numbers on my abilities. So if I act, like if I use the Mirrodin proc on the objective, it'd be very similar. If not, like, more effective. I was, like, clearing red buff, though. A double flat pen does feel good. That's like the only benefit to it. But I have the MMR thing in top left. Uh, it's a OBS uh, plugin. It's like a browser source for OBS. It's called Gotherbot. If you wanna like, if you Google it or whatever, it'll. It should be the first link. Or it should link to the dude, the guy's Twitter, the guy that made it, and uh, you can get it from there. Yeah, it's a good uh, it's a good plugin in my opinion. Sometimes it like doesn't work though, depending on when the guy's like updating it or whatnot or whatever. Sometimes it like doesn't work super efficiently, but it gets the job done most of the time. Yeah, this intoxicate is lasting forever. Another jump. I was like, uh, I can't believe I actually got hit by that. But like, uh, I was like an inch away from getting out of that. Very, very unfortunate. I should just do fire. I don't think they can do fire now. One of them had to stay for it. Playing any team just to rank grind. Uh, I play a little bit of SOC, which is like amateur spite. No like pro team or anything like that. Mostly just rank grind. I have in the past uh, played like super heavy competitively, but it's like a lot of time commitment. And I like stream so much and whatnot. I just like it's hard to play that much spite. Like super heavy. Her college team. Oh, cool, cool. What color, what uh, team do you play for? Do you play with anybody I might know? <laughs> I know a few people that play, uh, or have played at least. Brown. 
I know Daddy Dark Aura, that sounds familiar. I don't know any other people on your team. But that guy, I've definitely seen that guy in ranked. Use their hammer ranked a ton. Yeah, I definitely recognize that guy from ranked, like for sure. He plays ADC, right? Usually when I see it, that probably that makes a lot of sense because I play mid, so if he's in my game, it's like a 50-50 shot I'm playing mid, so he probably plays ADC in that case. That makes sense though. His group is in every fight. Keep an eye out for the Fire Nation. Oh, I can get back. Okay. I'm finally getting to it. Well met. Shame and duels are this bit. Honestly, I just respect. Respect that. I can't stand playing duel. I hear rattle. So I respect anybody that can play that game mode. I find that game mode so sleeper. An enemy has Bro, just get Phoenix, man. It's so much better, man. Phoenix is so much better there. It is what it is. Always Phoenix better than FG. Because with baby FG, all we're going to get is towers. Whereas we can get Phoenix, and then we get a lot of pressure. We trebuchet and right, and then fit like fire minions in mid. We just get fire for free after. Because now we're just gonna end up taking fire giant, and then have to fight a five v five if we want to take a phoenix. So we're probably just gonna take towers and then gold fury. Whereas if we have the mid phoenix, we get those for free no matter what. Or like theoretically, you should get them for free. Give the patience. Cheese every match. That's why I can't stand it. I can't stand it because people just cheese. People just cheese. Duel is all about cheese, and I can't stand cheese. Cheese and people just play like under tower and stuff, and they don't actually like want to like fight you. It's very boring. Guy profited off all my damage. Hey, you know, they don't call me a top damage enjoyer for nothing. All we do is top damage. Don't need the kills. This is like ten years ago. Ranked a bit. I go from here, it's like 1300. Match with people that play like NEM support. How do you play that? On my way. Your middle tower is under that is an interesting statement. Pick a character, ask how you play it. That's an interesting Your statement. I would just play stuff that like hard carries. Just play like uh, like AMC or something. And just kind of W key. 
those those games, like in the super low elo games, you just have to play stuff that can do like objectives by yourself. Like that it can do fire giant, you know, do towers and stuff, things like that. This is what I mean, by the way, where we don't get a phoenix now. Unless somebody like kids like that for no reason, which I think there's gotta isn't good. This guy just hit the fattest disco wall. Alright, well they just inted. If they don't int, we just never get a phoenix there. Thanks on RP, yeah man, thanks on RP. He actually just blinked on that Scotty and one-shot him. What the fuck? ADC. ADCs are not OP, dude. I'll even say OP. Like, ADC is like their best role, man. Like, solo and support. I mean, you could play solo and support. You just gotta get up, like, some MMR. Like, play, like, AMC solo until you get some MMR or some shit. Or, like, Uller solo or something. <laughs> That's how you win those, like, lower ELO games. What's up, Caustic, by the way? Or play like a bracken and just go full damage and just one shot the backline. That's also like kind of OP in the Wheel games because you get like every.